Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we experience the greatness of God's love for us. As we listen to God's word, and as we partake of the body and blood of Jesus, we are nourished and strengthened. We are healed and saved. And so, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us acknowledge our many sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, 
Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. But do you gird your loins? Stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass, against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. 
Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially, and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child. Think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. So, Faith, hope, love remain, these three, but the greatest of this is love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up and drove him out of the town and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, what is love? I'm sure you have been asked several times about your definition of love. At siguro marami po sa atin ang nakatatanda pa ng mga slam book. Nung high school, may mga slam book tayo at isa sa mga tanong sa slam book, what is love? Ano po ba ang sinagot nyo noon? Many would answer, love is a many splendored thing. O kaya, love is like a rosary. It is full of mysteries. We have many definitions of love. But in our second reading today, St. Paul gives us a Christian definition of love. We heard in our second reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians a beautiful discourse about love. What is love from the Christian perspective? What is love for us as followers of Jesus? And St. Paul says, love is patient Love is kind. Love is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It, it, it does not seek its own interest. Love is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. These are very beautiful definitions of love. And in as much as I want to reflect with you, every word and every line of this definition, we will, have, we will not have enough time. We might spend the whole morning just talking about St. Paul's definition of love. And so for today, let me just focus on some of St. Paul's definition of love. One interesting thing that St. Paul said about love is that love rejoices in the truth. Ikinagagalak ng pag-ibig ang katotohanan. Because a love that rejoices in lies is fake. Ang pag-ibig hindi katugma ng kasinungalingan. Kaya kapag may tao na nagsabi sa iyo, alam mo, mahal na mahal kita, iniibig kita. Pero palagi ka namang niloloko, maniniwala ka ba sa pag-ibig na yon? Sa mga dalaga dito, kapag may nanliligaw sa inyo at sinasabing, ikaw lang ang iniibig ko. Pero hindi naman nagsasabi sa iyo ng totoo, maniniwala ka ba na mahal ka talaga? Would you believe a person who would tell you, I love you, and yet constantly is dishonest to you? You may tolerate it for some time. 
you may play blind to this honesty and lies. Pwedeng sabihin mo, o sige na, nangingibabaw yung pagmamahal ko kaysa sa kasinungalingan niya. Pero hindi yan magtatagal. Because love thrives only in truth. Hindi pwedeng mabuhay at magtagal ang pag-ibig sa panloloko at kasinungalingan. Ikinagagalak lagi ng pag-ibig ang katotohanan. Love rejoices in the truth. And Jesus shows this to us in our gospel today. Our gospel this Sunday is a continuation of the gospel that we heard last Sunday. Jesus went home to his native place, to Nazareth. He entered the synagogue on the Sabbath, and he read from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. And after reading the word of God, Jesus said, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And initially, everyone was amazed at his words. Humanga sila kay Jesus. At parang nagmalaki pa sila. Hindi ba't anak to ni Jose? Kababayan natin ang batang ito. Hindi iba ito sa atin. Taga rito siya sa atin. But Jesus knows the truth in the hearts of His people. That is why He said, You know, no prophet is accepted in his native place. Humahanga kayo, hindi dahil naniniwala kayo, kundi dahil narinig ninyo ang mga himalang ginawa ko sa Kapernaum at umaasa kayo na gagawin ko iyon dito sa aking sariling bayan, sa aking sariling mga kababayan. You do not really believe you are just expecting miracles because I am one of you. And Jesus opened their mind to the truth. Blessings from God will not come only because we are town mates. Hindi dahil kababayan ko kayo ay pabor na ang biyaya ng Diyos para sa inyo. Remember the widow at Zarephath, who was not part of the people of God and yet received blessings from God. Remember Naaman the Syrian, who was a leper, healed by God. He was not a member of our people. Parang pinamumuka ni Jesus sa kanila, na hindi yung pagiging, mag, pagiging magkababayan natin ang magiging dahilan kung bakit pagpapalain kayo ng Diyos, kundi yung pananampalataya nyo sa Diyos. He was inviting His own people to believe in Him, not just because He grew up with them, but because of faith in God. Yan ang katotohanan. At hindi natakot sa si Jesus na sabihin ang katotohanan ng yan kahit alam niyang ikagagalit ito ng kanyang mga sariling kababayan. At nagalit nga sila. Sobrang galit na gusto nila siyang patayin. But Jesus was at peace. Because he knew he was saying the truth. And saying the truth is love. Love 
always rejoices in the truth. But as Jesus said the truth, we said his people plotted against his life. Gusto siyang ihulog sa bangin ng kanyang sariling mga kababayan dahil hindi nila matanggap ang kanyang sinabi. But what did Jesus do? He simply passed through the midst of them and went away. Jesus did not give up simply because His own people did not accept Him. Hindi sinabi ni Jesus, ay titigilan ko na to. Kung sariling kababayan ko ayaw akong paniwalaan na tanggapin, ano pa ang dahilan para ipagpatuloy ko ang aking misyon? Hindi. Dumaan lang si Jesus sa gitna nila, sa gitna ng lahat ng panganib at umalis upang ipagpatuloy ang kanyang misyon sa ibang lugar. Jesus was able to persevere in His mission simply because of love. Because as St. Paul said in his definition of love, love bears all things. Love endures all things. Ang pag-ibig nagtsatsaga at nagtitiis. Jesus was able to persevere not only because He loves His people, but more because He loves God, who appointed Him as a prophet and who promised Him that He will take care of Him. This is what we heard in our first reading today when God promised the prophet Jeremiah, they will fight against you, but not prevail over you, for I am with you to deliver you. The love of God for us and our love for Him enable us to persevere. Ang tunay na pag-ibig pala, hindi basta-basta sumusuko. Ang pag-ibig kung totoo, nagtsatsaga at nagtitiis. A love that easily gives up is not true love because true love always perseveres. It is patient. It bears all things. It endures all things. My dear brothers and sisters, love rejoices in the truth. Love is patient. Love bears all things. Love endures all things. We live in a world where lies proliferate. Nabubuhay tayo sa isang mundo na yung dishonesty at infidelity ay pinupuri pa at pinararangalan. We live in a world where truth is manipulated, where lies is presented as truth. We live in a world where we easily give up on each other. We live in a world where perseverance and patience are not considered as important virtues. Sa panahon natin ngayon, kapag ikaw ay matyaga at nagtitiis, parang hindi ka normal. Bakit mo pinagtsatsagaan yan? Kung nahihirapan ka na, edi sumuko ka na. Bakit ka magtitiis? 
Bakit mo pahihirapan ang sarili mo? Ganyan ang mentalidad ng ating panahon. We live in a world where we look at each other as commodities that we could easily throw away. Ang tao at ang ugnayan sa isa't isa, ang relationship sa isa't isa, pwedeng-pwedeng itapo na lang, hindi na pinagtsatsagaan. Does this mean that we lack love? Kaya ba namamayani ang kasinungalingan dahil nagkukulang na tayo sa pag-ibig? Kaya ba wala ng pagtitiis at pagtsatsaga dahil wala na ring pag-ibig? St. Therese of the Child Jesus once said, If you cannot find love, then put love and there will be love. Kung wala kang makitang pag-ibig, ikaw ang maglagay ng pag-ibig para makita mo, maramdaman mo, at mamayani ang pag-ibig. My dear brothers and sisters, let us put love and truth will always prevail. Let us put love and we will always rejoice in the truth. Let us put love and we will be able to persevere. Let us put love and we will be able to bear and endure all things. For as St. Paul tells us, the greatest is love. Love will last forever. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. God is our stronghold and our refuge. Let us pray to this loving Father for all our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may continue to guide the Church with eloquence and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians elected to represent us may be strong in the courage of Christ, who was rejected by his own people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not rely on earthly things, but place our hope in the God who never fails us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those formed in the womb may be born in security and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have passed through death may see God face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass.
Almighty Father, hear the prayers of the people gather, you gathered at this altar and made one in faith, hope, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth, He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering canceled out our sins. By His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal, eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand let us pray nourished by these redeeming gifts we pray o lord that through this help to eternal salvation through faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa ngayong umagang ito. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagpunta dito sa Manila Cathedral. Ganon din po sa mga kapatid natin na matyagang nagsisimba dyan sa labas. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. We also wish to thank our brothers and sisters who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Thank you for being part of our community, for being part of our worship and prayer this morning. We also thank the staff and the uh, uh, servants of the Manila Cathedral for assisting and serving at our Mass today. In a special way, we wish to thank the members of the Signs and Interpreters Ministry of the Archdiocese of Manila for providing uh, the sign language for our brothers and sisters who are hard of hearing. Kanina po sa inyong pagpasok ay binigyan po kayo ng maliit na Bible. Yan po ay uh, naglalaman ng Gospels, no, ng apat na Ibanghelyo kay San Mateo, San Marcos, San Lucas at San Juan. Ngayon po kasi ay ipinagdiriwang din natin ang National Bible Sunday. Last Sunday, we celebrated the Sunday of the Word of God. This whole week, we celebrated National Bible Week. And the National Bible Week concludes with the National Bible Sunday on the last Sunday of January. Yan pong Bibliang yan na naglalaman ng mga Ibanghelyo ay Tagalog version. Pinoy version. Kaya kung babasahin nyo, medyo iba yung language. Very modern. Para madaling basahin at mas madali nating maintindihan. No? Packet size po yan. Kaya pwede nating dalhin kahit saan at basahin kung saan man tayo may pagkakataon. Sana po ay maglaan tayo ng panahon at oras para basahin ang salita ng Diyos na palaging nangungusap sa atin. At nawapagpalain ng Diyos itong bagong linggong ito, nawa ay puspusin niya tayo ng pag-ibig para tayo'y mabuhay sa katotohanan at sa pagkakaugnayan sa isa't isa. Mabuhay tayo sa pag-ibig ng Panginoon para sa atin. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessings now and forever. Amen. May He free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love now and forever. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.